Hello, everyone. Welcome back. As we sit here in the winter time and it's constantly drab and gray and gloomy and brown and cloudy, I wanted to do a study on which is the most sunniest city and state in the United States and uh, just take a look at that a little bit. So I pulled down a bunch of data. Um, you know, if you know me, I don't like anecdotal data. I actually like real information and um, real statistics and metrics and not just what people think or say. And uh, Yuma, Arizona tops the list for the percentage sunshine, uh, 90%. And that is the time between sunrise and sunset that suns that the sun reaches the Earth's surface. So that would be the sun reaching the surface anywhere from 1% all the way up to full sun, 100%. And this list of all USA cities, so large and small, uh, Yuma, Arizona, Redding, California, Phoenix, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada. So you get the hint, California, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, the West and Southwest uh, tops this list. Now we'll go on to the next one. Um, and this is, again, all USA cities, so large and small, um, with clear days. And clear days is the average number of days a year when clouds cover less than one third of the sky. So thinking less than 33% of the sky is covered in clouds is considered a clear day. And Yuma leads the list at 242 days uh, with less than 33% cloud coverage. Phoenix is right there, Vegas, uh, and then a bunch of California and uh, some more Texas and Arizona. So those are the truly, really, really uh, sunny places with blue skies. Now, as we move over here to major USA cities with over 1 million people in the metro area. Uh, so these, these are not small towns. These are just major cities. We have three categories here. We have percentage sunshine, which we saw a couple of graphs ago. We have clear days, which we saw on the last graph, and then we also have hours of sun in Phoenix and Vegas and Sacramento and L.A. And here's our first pop in of a Florida of a Florida city, Miami. Uh, and they are an interesting, interesting use case in terms of Florida in general. And I'll get to that here in a minute. And then we have Colorado, Oklahoma. Uh, so on and so forth, and then another Tampa. So again, percentage sunshine is a percent of time between sunrise and sunset that uh, the sun reaches their surface. And clear days is clouds maintaining less than 33% of, uh, of the sky. Now I say Miami, what's interesting here is they have 70% sunshine. So meaning um, at least some element of sun is reaching the uh, is reaching the ground 70% of the time. Now, what you'll see here is how much is that sun? Uh, so clear days is only 74 clear days in Miami, Florida, which is nowhere near any of these others on this list. So it's really interesting um, that only in, in Miami, um, only 74 days that you'll have uh, of mostly blue skies. And, uh, and let's take another look and, and see what's going on with that. Now, these are uh, some of your cloudiest places, whereas the graph I just showed you was the sunniest. These are the cloudiest. And these are, again, major USA cities. Buffalo, New York leads the, the list in terms of uh, a cloud cover. 311 days a year uh, are cloudy in Buffalo, New York, which is uh, astronomical. Uh, in this particular way, um, in this particular graph, we're saying cloudy is one quarter of the sky all the way up to 100%. So basically, if there's uh, really relatively few clouds all the way up to full clouds in the sky. Um, Seattle, Pittsburgh, Rochester, Cleveland, Portland, Columbus, Detroit. So you're getting a hint here, right? Like there's uh, a lot of upper north, um, I'm sorry, Pacific Northwest and then all upper Midwest getting into the Northeast. And then you're left with Miami, followed by my hometown of Cincinnati. What? Why are these two next to each other? Cincinnati with 284 and Miami with 290. Do I really live in a sunnier place than Miami? 
come on now, what's going on with this? Uh, percentage of days that are cloudy, Cincinnati 78 and Miami 79. This, is, this has to be shocking the first time you see this. How is Miami coded right next to uh, Cincinnati and Detroit? So let's keep on taking a look at this. Again, these are major USA cities. Um, these are partially cloudy days. So this is where clouds cover between one quarter and three quarters of the sky, one quarter and three quarters, whereas we just saw it was 25 all the way up to 100. This is 25 to 75. And Miami tops the list of partially cloudy days, followed by Orlando and Tampa and Jacksonville. Um, so you're starting to see the difference here. Percentage of days that are partially cloudy, 48% in Miami. And notice Detroit and Cincinnati are not on this list, uh, meaning oftentimes those areas have more than 75% cloud cover. That's really the difference here um, is that last remaining 25%. Uh, that's why a lot of these towns are not over here because they would not be considered partially cloudy. They would be considered more full clouds. Um, so that's starting to paint a picture for Miami and the idea that, uh, yes, it is very sunny, but it is also uh, oftentimes covered with clouds. And then here's all USA cities in general, regardless of size in terms of partially cloudy. And what's interesting here is this is all Florida and Hawaii, uh, other than this one area in Colorado, Hawaii, Hawaii, Florida, 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 Hawaii, Florida, Florida. And this is partially cloudy, so between 25 and 75. What does that tell you? What that tells you is when you look at the, the cities that are partially cloudy versus the cities that are uh, pretty much fully sun, what's the difference? It's humidity, guys. Um, it is all about humidity. When there is no humidity in the air, when there is no uh, moisture and precipitation on the ground, um, there can be no clouds, there's, there's no movement of the precipitation, condensation, evaporation, the life cycle of water does not happen um, in these desert environments or at least dry environments of Arizona, California, Nevada, and West Texas. It just doesn't exist. There's no clouds because there's no rain, whereas in these uh, humid environments, and when I say humid, I don't necessarily mean um, you know, high dew points all of the time, although most of these certainly do have high dew points. Humidity in the um, in the climate sense of there's moisture. That's basically what humidity means. There's rain, it rains, there's moisture buildup, there's there's lakes and ponds and streams and um, bigger bodies of water in these areas. So these are humid environments in that there is moisture and precipitation. Uh, whereas out west, they're simply not. Um, so the fact that there can't be any um, clouds in those western states because they don't have any rain uh, leads it to believe uh, in Hawaii and Florida that there is a ton of clouds in the sky, albeit partially um, taking up most of the sky uh, a lot of the time because there is so much rain and precipitation and, and, and condensation and evaporation and all of those things. So it's really, really interesting to see. So now we can go into the uh, sunniest uh, states. And this pretty much here will, will, will blow your mind, guys. And part of, uh, or the thumbnail for this video is, is Florida really the sunshine state? And the answer to that question is, is outright no. Florida is not the sunshine state. In fact, there's nine states, some of which you would have no idea that actually have more sun than Florida. We take a look at this list. These values are average annual sunlight totals expressed in kilojoules per square meter. Kilojoules are a unit of measure for energy. So these are not just total sunlight hours um, in the states. These are actually uh, looking at how big the states are and how much do they get uh, so that uh, large states don't just automatically come out on top of these. These are actually averaged out per square meter. 
Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, Texas, California, Colorado, Oklahoma, Kansas, Utah, and then Florida. Think about that. Have you ever considered Utah, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Colorado having more sunshine than uh, our beloved sunshine state? I, I would be willing to bet that 99% of people had no idea that Kansas had more sun than Florida. Um, but yeah, the Four Corners area is definitely number one. Four Corners being Arizona, New Mexico, uh, and Colorado, and Utah. They're all right there in the top nine. And in some of the plain states as well, I would consider Kansas and Oklahoma plain state. And then straight up just the West, right? Nevada. Uh, in Colorado and uh, of course West Texas is very much in line with New Mexico as well and then you start at past Florida you start getting into the southeast Louisiana Arkansas Mississippi Nebraska another plain state like Kansas and Georgia so that is quite quite interesting um, the sunniest regions and really you can divide up regions however you want but I kind of said it as west southeast Plains, Midwest, and the Northeast, places like Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, New York, all of those places were at the bottom of the barrel in terms of sunlight. So um, in summary, believe it or not, guys, Florida is not the sunniest place in the United States to go to. Um, some of these other places have a lot more bluer skies, a lot more of the year, but uh, you know, what's interesting is, is I actually did some research and found that New Mexico way back. And I want to say like the thirties actually, um, had the sunshine state slogan on their, um, on their license plates, on their car license plates said sunshine state. And, uh, and I, and I take it that somebody in Florida grabbed a hold of that and, uh, due to tourism, due to Mickey Mouse, uh, due to the beaches and, and all the things that happened post-World War II that allowed GIs to be able to travel, the inter interstate system, uh, people having a little bit more disposable income and started uh, wanting to go on vacation with their one week of PTO uh, to the beach. Uh, they, you know, Florida tourism uh, center probably took over Sunshine State and, and just roll with it. And I don't blame them. Uh, you got to make money for your state. Uh, but in reality, no, it is not. In fact, there are nine more states with more sun than, than, you, than Florida and some of which you would have no idea. So that was pretty cool. Um, I really enjoyed making this. Hopefully you learned something from it. I certainly did. And uh, looking to make some more cool things uh, weather related. Uh, like this in the future for you. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.